Hey YouTube, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day. Um, I thought I'd made this video before, but I guess I haven't. So I'm going to show you some pickups that I've got here. These are all stuff I've picked up in the wild, so in actual physical shops, mainly charity shops. Um, almost all of them charity shops, from what I can see. There's a couple of CEX buys, but so no particular order. Um, these were a pound odds each. Every one of these was under one pound fifty. I know that. So this is Sam Power Firefighter on DS. I guess you put out fires with the Manuel. I think that was ninety nine p. Picked up this at the same time. Quantum of Solace. Again on the DS. Again with the Manuel. I guess we're starting to see DS games now in the charity shops. Blinks, the Time Sweeper. Um, another one of sort of 3D platformers, that another back in style. Maybe I'll get to play this on the Xbox One soon. Right, where's Bucks compa backwards compatibility is apparently coming. Check and Tag Tournament on the PS2 with the receipt and the NMP each for Tech and Tag Tournament and Ratchet and Clank 3. That's the crap, less desirable edition, I suppose, the uh, Platinum releases. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D on the PC. 99p, no, sorry, pound. I know that was a pound. Because I picked, because I've got Star Wars, Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2, and Mis Mysteries of the Sith, the expansion pack. Again, that was a pound. PC. Same shop, same time, I believe the counter shop. Arctic Thunder. A snowmobile racing game. PS2. One pound. This one is. Uh, is this one not touching? Oh, that one's not too bad. Same shop, same time. Halo 2 on the original Xbox. I think we all know what Halo 2 looks like. An old multiplayer, pretty much. And blah, 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 blah. Um, again, I think this will be one of the first games to get back with compatibility when it comes. This was extremely unusual. This was in a charity shop. Seen it. Box office smash. A pound. It's not as good as the first one. I've actually owned this before. And I remember, I bought this new originally. So one pound for 360 game. Same shop, same time. Theme park world on the PC. Again, you make theme parks. Another game I've owned, I owned previously at new. Schism Mysterious Journey. Sort of a walking around adventure game. This one is on multiple CDs. Can't remember exactly how many. At least five. There's at least five in there. I, think I remember buying new on day release. It's a mist type game. Did one look a couple of days ago. Oh, still got the sticker on this one. Chess Hunt and Stroke Scotland, £1, Warhammer 40k, Fire Warrior. This is a first person shooter where you play as a Tau Fire Warrior. Um, so it's a two disc set, and there's a the second disc. It's pretty good fun, I've actually completed this before. Ooh. Soul Calibur 2! Yeah, it's Soul Calibur. Uh, I can't remember if you get to fight as a special character in this one. No doubt somebody will put it in the comments. It's not as good as the Dreamcast version. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey on the original PlayStation. It's a cracking game. Case a bit damaged, but I was buying a lot of stuff at the same time. 
These were surprising. These were a pound each. Killzone 2, PS3. Platinum edition. With the manual. Same time, same shop. Alien Noir. A game I really wanted to play. With the manual, in really good shape. Again, a pound. So we are starting to see the last gen stuff really come down in price now. Same shop, same time. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Again with a gift aid stick on it. Again a pound or net and MP I think that one was. This was a CEX buy. Sonic Spinball on the Mega Drive. Uh, it's the one where you play Sonic as a uh, pinball table. Really nice condition. Um, it was six pound, six pound, yeah, which is around the going rate for it, but it's a really nice shape condition one, and it was in a shop. Next, oh, another CEX buy, Prince of Persia: Sands of Time for fifty British pence. Again, it's probably traded in like a hundred times for the various shops. Discs unmarked. Uh, 50 cent bulletproof art. Didn't think I owned this and then discovered I actually already have it. But a pound. Completely unmarked disc. This is supporting a local charity. This again. Halo 4 CEX, a pound. I'm looking forward to the both discs there. They're in good shape. Case a bit rough around the edges. Celtic like there, but again, it's Halo 4 for a cut. GTA 3 on the original Xbox. Mine's got some water damage to it, discs are fine. It's got it's, it's just that cover, it doesn't reverse round, so I think there's been another cover that's gone missing. Again, this would be good if it got bubble compatibility. Well, it's got not from individual sale, so I don't know if that's. But again, it's a pound. 50p, this one. Burnout Revenge, PS2. Again, it's been traded in God knows how many times. There's multiple stickers on it for multiple charity shops and game shops and stuff. That was in the bar bargain bin in a charity shop. I think this is 125 maybe. Um, Gunfires 2, The Legend of Jesse James. Uh, that was a, a gun shooter game. Two more to go. Spy Hunter. I don't know if this was the one that was supposed to be based on the film that never came out, that was never made. Like the um, Vita version, or is this just a remake of the. Again, Spy Hunter. I just bought it because I like the original one as a kid. Finally, CX again, the original kill zone for 50 British pence. With the manual. So, that's what I've bought in the last few months. Retro gaming, or well, gaming wise pickups. Again, each, each of these was bought in a shop, on a high street. Yes, there were maybe charity shops or second hand shops, but for, you know, for no money we're seeing both Xbox 360, X and PS3 games there now, and not crappy sports titles either. Like, good titles are now beginning to make their way into these shops, so keep your eyes peeled, guys. Um, we're certainly getting good stuff coming through now. And if people ask, oh, how do you get good stuff and I don't? Because well, I'm in there all the time. Got to keep going in, got to keep trying. You just get lucky sometimes when they put the new stuff on the shelf, you know. As well as all those new sports titles, at some point somebody will trade in something or give away something decent just that the sports stuff sits and this doesn't. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.